Smile and learn. Hi, friends. What a great time I had on my last trips to the past. Are you back for another ride? Today, I'll be looking for the most curious dinosaurs. Let's not waste time. Let's go. Let's meet the Lynn Hennicus. This dinosaur was discovered very recently. It was very tiny, about the size of a parrot, but its peculiarity was that it only had one finger. Yes, yes, you heard right. Lynn Hennicus had small upper limbs with only one finger. Curious, isn't it? Lynn Hennicus. This is the Kyansusaurus. Wow, what a long and difficult name to pronounce. But it's known as Pinocchio Rex. It is clear why, isn't it? It's because of its elongated head and this small row of horns on its nose. Don't let its nickname fool you. It was as ferocious as its cousin, the T-Rex. Look at all those teeth! So scary! Kansusaurus! Hello, Cosmoceratops! This dinosaur's head was decorated with about 15 horns and other small features of various sizes, including a curved crest which was very different from the other dinos' heads. It looks like it has a giant bang. How elegant. Cosmoceratops. Have you seen how curious the Amargosaurus were? They had two parallel rows of spines on their neck and back. This allowed them to defend themselves from their enemies as well as regulate their temperature. Although it looks very fierce with all those spines, it was actually very calm. Amargosaurus was herbivorous, which is why it did not attack other dinosaurs. Amargosaurus. And this one, ah, it's a Susasaurus. It was very similar to a giant ostrich. It had a very furry body and large claws that it used to grab tree branches. Part of the scientific community believes that it may be a distant ancestor of the sloth. Wow, awesome! Susasaurus. Look at the videos of these curious dinosaurs I've taken today. Linhenicus. Kansusaurus Cosmoceratops Amargosaurus Susasaurus I love traveling back in time and learning about my dinosaur ancestors. Oh no, not again! They're looking at me like a snack. I'm going home. See you later. Hey friends, here I am, back in time, ready to show you some more dinosaurs. Today I'll be looking for herbivorous dinosaurs. Would you like to join me? Let's meet the Stegosaurus. We don't have to worry about the Stegosaurus eating me because it's an herbivore. Have you seen how many plates and spikes it has on its back and tail? 
Stegosauruses use them to defend themselves. Stegosaurus. Look, it's one of the most famous dinosaurs, the Triceratops. It was the most docile and tame dinosaur ever known. It has one, two, and three horns. Oh, that makes sense. That's where the name comes from. They were distant cousins of rhinos. Triceratops. Hello, Parasaurolophus. These dinosaurs had a wide snout similar to a duck and lots and lots of teeth. Wow! I like your crest. Parasaurolophus. Meet the Diplodocus. Did you know that it was one of the largest dinosaurs? It had a very long tail and a small head. Its legs were similar to those of an elephant, but its most characteristic feature was its very long neck. Diplodocus. And this one? Ah, it's an Ankylosaurus. Do you see that mallet on its tail? It used it to defend itself against its enemies. The Ankylosaurus sped on plants that grew close to the ground. Ankylosaurus. Look at the pictures I took today of these awesome herbivorous dinosaurs. Stegosaurus. Triceratops. Parasaurolophus. Diplodocus. Ankylosaurus. And that's all. I hope you liked my dinosaur cousins a lot. I'm going back home in my time machine. Let's make sure I don't get the date wrong again and end up in the year 3000 like last time. See ya! Hey, hello. They told me that you don't know anything about my cousins, the dinosaurs. Is that true? Well, don't worry. With my time machine, we can travel back in time. And once we get there, I'll tell you which ones were the most famous carnivorous dinosaurs. You'll see. It'll be super fun! This is the Velociraptor. Check out its long, muscular legs and arms. Its head was small and elongated, and its jaw had very sharp teeth that were used to tear flesh. Also, its body was covered in feathers, just like a chicken. Velociraptor. Let me introduce you to the Plesiosaur. It was a marine dinosaur. They were excellent hunters. Their neck and jaws were made to help them capture their prey easily. Plesiosaur. Look, my cousin the Spinosaur. Don't we look alike? Spinosaurs were much bigger than crocodiles, but they say that our skulls are very similar. Spinosaurs could reach between 32 and 65 feet long and weighed several tons. 
The fin that ran along its back had small spines. That's how it got its name. Spinosaur. This is a pteranodon. They were flying dinosaurs, and their wings were very large and very thin-skinned, like bat wings. They usually lived near the coast, where they looked for their favorite food, fish. And that crest? Impressive. I wonder if they are in fashion. Tanadon. Whoa! A T-Rex! How scary! It had over 60 teeth, and although it couldn't run, it walked very fast. It is known to have been the most ruthless animal ever to inhabit the Earth. I love those tiny little hands! T-Rex! I love my dinosaur cousins! And what a coincidence! The ones we've learned about today are all carnivores. Look at the cool pictures I took of them. Velociraptor. Plesiosaur. Spinosaur. Pteranodon. T-Rex. What's the matter? Are you hungry? I'll tell you some other day. Now I better get out of here in a hurry because I don't want to be anyone's snack. See you later. We've learned so much in just one video. Did you know there are many more videos? Imagine how much you could learn. Subscribe to the Smile and Learn educational channel to learn and have fun at the same time.